Hey guys, um, Melinda here. Uh, pardon this mess over here. I'm working from home today, uh, but I got my Ipsy in and I wanted to get this recorded so I could fart around with it. <laughs> uh, you are beautiful. Pass it on. Uh, pretty is as pretty does. Share this card with someone who could use a little love. Oh, how cute. I'm sharing it with all of you. See? I like the bag this month. It is a nice, mauvey, rusty, not rusty, dusty pink um, with a nice little texture on the front. Different than the other bags because this one is totally square versus being shorter. Yeah. Got a nice little rose gold tab. Let's see what we got going on. Ooh, we got a brush from Bo something. I can't read it. Uh, Bo Garaches. Never heard of it, but cool. Tapered blending brush. Nicely labeled on there. Seems like it's sturdy. Nice, soft. Cool, cool. Uh, Air Repair Complexion Boosting Moisturizer with Hydraulic Hydro hydronic acid. I can talk today, really. And then we got an Ofra Cosmetics uh, Peach Blush. I don't know if I'll use this or not, but I will give it a shot. It is a very sheeny, shimmery. That's, I could use that as a highlighter. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but uh, it's a really pretty color. I'm not really into this whole peach train that everybody's on, but I'll give it a try. Uh, and then we got a, a Model Co. We've had this brand before, and this is a I Define Crayon Liner. I have one of their um, felt liners uh, in emerald. not really super black but it is buildable so mm, I'll give it a shot and then last but not least we got a Tardist lip paint uh, I got the color delish oh that's a pretty color now I would wear that so that is what I got in the Ip of the Sea. Uh, I should be getting my boxy charm uh, in the next couple of days, and I'll put these videos together, and then I will uh, go ahead and um, post it. But yeah, so Oprah Cosmetics, um, they're pretty good. I like their products. Uh, Maloco, can't complain about that. Never heard of this brush company, Bo Gache, I think is how you say it. I'm not sure. Uh, but I'll give it a shot and see what it's like. Uh, Tarte, of course, love me some Tarte. And last but not least, the Air Repair Moisturizer. I will give this a shot as well. Hope you guys are having a great day, and I will see you guys soon. Hey guys, so guess what showed up in the mail today? The Boxy Charm. So we are going to open it. I've been waiting for this. It came a little later this month. Uh, not too upset about that, but, you know, I look forward to it every month, so. It is called Creepy Cute this month. Ooh, there's a brush. Okay, I'm going to put that to the side. I never look at the card. Um, I Well, I look at the card when I'm pulling the products out, but I don't look at the card until after um, I have seen what's in the box. Uh, I have seen a couple YouTube videos. I don't know if they're all the same. Uh, but we will find out. Uh, so the first thing I have is some Smashbox primer. Uh, this is a photo finish primer. I've actually used this before. I had a sample size that was quite a bit smaller than this. Um, and it's really good if you like a silicon uh, type feeling um, primer. Uh, it works wonders. It does really get rid of the pores and so forth. Uh, I think this one you get you can get this size. This is a travel size. You can get this at Sephora for like 16 bucks. 
Uh, actually, if you buy two of these, it's the same size as the big one, and you save a couple bucks, at least at Sephora. I haven't looked at Ulta, because I think they have Smashbox at Ulta, too. Um, but, yeah, so I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to be traveling soon, so I'll put that in my travel bag. And that retails, yeah, it was $16 for the primer. Uh, next, I'm going to open this one, because I want to, from Naked Cosmetics. I think I've had something from Naked Cosmetics before, um, but it was a long, long time ago. So, might be wrong on that. Um, but it comes in a really cute looking box. They're pretty popular these days. Um, they started out, you know, as an indie brand kind of thing. Um, they didn't start out mainstream, so. If I can get into the box, I child proofed it from me. Okay. And on the inside, same uh, type of motif as the box. Very clean uh, looking packaging. Oh, come on. Okay, and inside we have, ooh, we have some eyeshadows. Uh, they're not, there's no label on the back. Um... There's no names on here, so we're going to go with an olive green, uh, a rusty copper, and a maroon. Let's see. Ooh, they're nice and buttery. That's the maroon. That's one, one little swipe off my finger. Wow. Ooh, that's kind of like an army green color. Okay, I can work with that. Thank you, Naked Cosmetics. Uh, and Naked Cosmetics was, uh, was it not listed? Oh, Urban Rustic Palette. Um, it is $39.99 for the trio. So, um, they've come a long way since I had seen anything by them before because they used, I, as far as I know, they weren't that expensive before. Um, but if they have color payoff like that, yes, please. Especially that maroon uh, and, and that green. I would probably use the green under my eye a little bit. The copper I would do on the lid and the maroon. It's kind of, it's not really maroon. It's like cranberry color. So uh, that is pretty. Let me give it a makeup wipe here. If I can get them out. This is a brand new package. Uh, if you guys are new to my channel, I don't think I've ever, I might not have talked about these before, but uh, these are my favorite face wipes on the planet from Burt's Bees. And I always get the pink grapefruit uh, because they're for normal to oily skin. And um, I use an e-cigarette, so I get a lot of buildup of um, a little bit of uh, vegetable glycerin on my face because there's vegetable glycerin in my e-liquid. Uh, so I like to have that to just kind of peel off the day, you know, it takes off whatever elements I've been in, it takes off the e-liquid if I've been in a, in a car, you know, a lot or, you know, whatever. And they just smell good. They smell good. They feel good. Uh, they get you ready for the night. Um, yeah. So anyway, that was a little side note. Uh, and then we have a Jumbo Kabuki. Um, brush and what company is this from? This is from Crown Brush. I love Crown Brushes. <clears throat> Ooh, it's nice and soft. But yeah, that's the SS023 from Crown. Uh, I like, I kind of like, it's a little funky. It's a little offset. I think, um, I probably wouldn't use this for highlighter. I know some people use fan brushes for highlighter, but I would probably take that into, uh, you know, the curvature of my cheeks, um, you know, to do some contouring with, um, or even use it as an all over powder brush, um, more so than that, but it is really soft. Um, it's kind of clamped weird. So it kind of gives you like a, I don't know if you can see it, a little bit of a, uh, indentation there, uh, but it's just because of the way that the clamp that's holding in the brushes. Um, however, I'm not worried about that. I am not 
offended by it. I know some people, their OCD is going to go nuts. I'm OCD, but I definitely am not offended by that. Uh, so I'm going to give it a try. Um, I have another brush that is similar to this. If I like this one better, I'll clean up the other one and I'll give it to someone. So far, I'm pretty impressed this month. Okay, uh, the next two things um, are actually going hand in hand. So I'm going to get them both out. Um, one of them is the Matte Liquid Lipstick from by Real Her. I've never heard of the company before. Um, I like their packaging. Uh, it's kind of cute. And uh, you get a um, Matte Liquid Lipstick along with a lip liner and they're supposed to be going together so let's see how well they do uh, I got the color I deserve the best in the lip liquid lip oh how cute they put a little thing in here um, it says let these quotes act as a source of confidence and inspiration. With each application, you reinforce the meaning of the quote. And then there's a 20% off on the back. So I will probably be using that because I die for this packaging. Um, this is what it looks like. It says Real Her on there. Um, and then on the other side, it tells you the name of your lipstick. And um, some people got a vampire color. I was kind of hoping I was going to get this one. Um, and, oh my gosh, I am not disappointed. It's like a nudie, peachy pink. That is gorge. I'll be wearing that a lot. And then to go along with it, uh, the Real, Fer Hair Real Her Expert Advice Lip Liner. Um, the liquid lipstick is 15 bucks. The lip liner is 12.50. Reasonably priced. Uh... If it wears as well as it looks on my hand um, and it has some longevity to it, I will definitely be taking advantage of that 20% off coupon. Even though the prices are already pretty dang awesome because, I mean, liquid lipsticks can go anywhere up to $35. I mean, I've paid some for Anastasia that were more than $15.50, $15. so definitely... Um, And it looks like my lip liner is going to match a bit. Okay, I may have to push it out the other end here. Because there's another one of the things in here, I think. Oh, no. It's just something to keep it from jostling around. Oh, nice. That's something you don't see in a lip liner box all the time. That's in there to make sure that your lip liner does not move around in transition. Um... And it says, I am precious. And it's by Real Hero. This one is opposite of the lipstick. So the lipstick has the white cap and the black. The lip liner is going to have the black with the white. And both of them have the thing on there. Let's see how close we are with this lip liner. Oh my goodness, that's like butter. Not too bad, not too bad. Uh, I'll have to give it a try today. I have some, to go run some errands, so I might try putting it on. But yeah, so uh, definitely impressed with the liquid lipstick and the lip liner uh, duo. Definitely impressed with the um, trio eyeshadows. Those are they're very rich colors. I'm I'm not sure if my camera's picking this up uh, well enough or not. But this cranberry color right here is to die for. And uh, the brush, definitely will be using the brush, giving it a, a, a run through. And the Smashbox primer, which I will put in my travel stuff. So, yeah, that's a five out of five. Um, I don't know. I can't tell you whether uh, Ipsy was better this month or BoxyCharm. I'm always a little leaning, uh, you know, favoritism towards BoxyCharm. Because BoxyCharm, everything is not a deluxe sample. Um, with, with Ipsy, some of the stuff you get is a deluxe sample. And you know what? I'm going to say BoxyCharm again this month. Um, the reason being, I went to go use the black eyeliner, and the black eyeliner 
had busted and fell out when I took the cap off. Um, the cap was hard to get off. I took it off and it flung somewhere and I had to pick it up and obviously throw it away. Uh, it wasn't savable. Um, so I'm going to say BoxyCharm won this month and that color is drying down very, very nice. I will see how it is on the lips. It's still got a little bit of dampness, but not by much. So uh, I'm definitely going to give that a shot today. Um, but yeah, I'm going to say BoxyCharm just because of the fact that I thought that the, um, I mean, at first when I opened up the, the eyeliner, it seemed like it was going to be okay. But when I went to actually use it and it flung out and the entire contents fell out, I was a little bit no. Mm -mm. No, honey, because I don't want to buy something that's going to fall out because knowing my luck, it would fall out and I wouldn't be able to use it and I'd be, I'd be out the money. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go with BoxyCharm this month. I'm not saying that Ipsy's was bad because it really wasn't. Um, they did pretty well. Um, but, uh, yeah, I just was more impressed with this box this month. And I like the theme, um, the creepy cute theme. I'm not really sure... Um, even though I like the theme, I'm not really sure what was meant by the theme because nothing in here is creepy or haunted related. Um, so I'm not really sure because everything was cute, but usually if there's a theme like creepy cute, it's for Halloween and there might be some Halloween colored things in there or something like that. So I'm a little confused about this. There's no explanation of why it is a creepy kid, you know, creepy cute. Um, but I do like the little card. It's kind of cute. Um, and I think I'm going to say my favorite items are going to be the lipstick and the, um, lip liner. I do like the mantras on them. I deserve the best and I am precious. You know, they tell you the more you use them, you'll see the motto and you live it, you learn it, you love it. So, uh, I can always use some positive reinforcement. So, um, yeah. Anyway, I will uh, see you guys in the next video. Uh, not sure what I got going on next, um, but who knows? I've got so many interests and things. It might be something new. It might be something not. Anyway, have a great day, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.